I've already pre-shuffled and I'll use two Oracle cards for your recent past. They are the two, two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Sagittarius, in the recent past, we have Connect. And on the flip side of this card that says Connect, it says find your center when we stay connected to our spiritual core. The best and most advantageous path unfolds before us. And the other oracle card says, When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. So, for your recent past, you could have found that um, connecting to your center was a good way to stay connected to your spiritual side. And it also led to certain paths, certain doors unfolding right before, right in front of your eyes. So you found connection, how to connect to your center, or you should have, and then you should have also um, probably accept the, the love of the universe because this way you would have been guided back to the light if there was any darkness at that time and maybe that's what you did and if you didn't that's probably what you should have done in the recent past connect and then accept the love of the universe that way you would have experienced much brighter paths and you would have been guided back to the light so that's for your recent past. Now let's move on over to the present time. And we have the Five of Cups and it's paired with the Three of Swords. So with the Five of Cups, just to explain it, it's a card that reminds us to focus, put your focus in life well, where you put your focus in life, it will have a great deal to do with the quality of your life and how well things work for you. So you might need to ask yourself at this time, what are you going to choose to focus on? Because the implication is probably pretty clear. You'll ask yourself, are you going to cry over spilt milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? The point is, you need to probably try to watch where you put your focus at this time. And make sure that the focus is for your highest good. When you get the Five of Cups and it's talking about love and relationships, um, you probably have just ended, or maybe about to uh, walk away from a connection maybe in the process of doing that you must realize that all is not lost you're probably not ready to move on to a new relationship so give yourself some time and space then get back out there there will come a day when you realize that the reason this relationship ended or someone walked away was to get you to a place where you really want to be, which is in a relationship that really works for you and works well. So that's when it's talking about uh, love and relationships, this Five of Cups. Now, this card is paired with the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords, it's about some type of sorrow. There's an element of sorrow that's undeniable. But what lies on the other side of the sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So, at this time you need to allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up so that you can move beyond it, move past it. This kind of points to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before 
you can really move on. If you deny any pain, that will not make it go away. So make sure you allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, only you can decide how long is long enough and others, they will not be able to do this for you. When this Three of Swords is talking about love and relationships, keep in mind, it does not mean it's the end of a relationship, but it does almost always point to some re relationship difficulty and pain. In order for the relationship to survive, both parties must be willing to work on it and talk about the relationship. You could find that someone you thought cared about you is not as loving as you suppose. So don't take it too personally or dwell too long on the pain. If this is the case, you're being guided to a relationship that's right for you. Just keep that in mind. You cannot force something or someone to be right. So for your present time, the Five of Cups and Three of Swords, it's basically saying that uh, someone might have walked away or someone could be in the process of walking away from this connection or thinking about it and... Um, with the Five of Cups, um, someone is going to have to make a choice. Um, are we going to cry? Am I going to cry over this? Or just um, get on with my life? Pick up things and, you know, get on to the next. So that's going to be a choice someone is going to have to make uh, if someone decides to walk away. Someone's going to have to try to be more focused if this connection is lost and um, they have to choose what they put their focus what you put your focus on so you sometimes people can stay in sadness and pain and heartbreak for a long time but um, you have this three of swords here and it, it's about sorrow and pain so um, it's saying that you shouldn't stay in any grief or pain for a long time. And that's true because a lot of times you can get stuck if you stay there a long time. So if you find that this is true, if this is resonating with you, then you really need to try to get help because you don't want to get stuck in sorrow and pain. Because like I said, you can wake up every day thinking that this is the new normal. And it's, it really isn't. There's life beyond today. There's life beyond whatever happened in the past. So that's what we have for your present time. Someone looks like, it looks like someone's deciding to walk away and there's some heartbreak. So that's for the present time, if I didn't say that. And let's move on down, take a look at how your person in this connection, how they view you, how they see you. We have the Tower card, and it's paired with the Four of Swords. To explain the Tower card, it's about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to know how you have to know how to roll with the changes. Roll with the changes, because it's likely that some people, situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. Keep in mind, this does not have to be drastic because change is the nature of life and if we try to prevent it it'll be like trying to roll up, upstream without a paddle also if you've been building some castles in the air this could be the time that some of them come crashing down to earth that's only a problem if you let it be you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month Keep in mind, dreaming, it's important, but it's also important to be living in a reality, too. So when we're asking about relationships and love and you get this tower card, 
Uh, this can be, but not necessarily, an indicator of a relationship that's about to... Well, I don't like that word, in, but I'm going to rephrase, I'm going to rephrase it. it. This can be, uh, but not necessarily, an indicator of someone walking away from the connection. If you are in a relationship that you absolutely, positively do not want to see in, this is an important time for damage control and for clear communications. You're going to need to find out where your partner's head is. Find out what they're feeling, what they're doing. Don't make assumptions. Find out for sure. So, the sour card. Your person is seeing you as walking away from this connection. That's all they see you. They see you as being enlightened by some type of disaster in this connection. Okay, they see you, um, yeah, that's how they see you. Mm -hmm. And it's paired with the Four of Swords. Now, this Four of Swords, when it talks about relationships and uh, romance, it's an indicator that you may be feeling a bit disconnected. It's important to let your partner know what's going on inside. But remember, your feelings, they're your own, not and it's not necessarily your partner's job to make you feel great all the time. It may be that you simply need some time apart. Don't hesitate to take it. If you're looking for love and you're single, Sagittarius, now is not the time to push. You'd be better off getting very specific about exactly who, what you're looking for in a connection, in a relationship, because the time will come when you meet someone, and that time is probably not now. Okay, so your person is seeing you as, like I said, with this tower card, they see you as moving on, um, possibly wanting to end the connection. And it's paired with the Four of Swords, so uh, they see you as disconnected. They see you as feeling disconnected from this connection, or should I say disconnection. <laughs> but they see you, like I said, I'm going to repeat this again. I know I do a lot of repeating. It's just that it's not always easy to pick up the energies. So sometimes I have to say it over and over again just to make sure I'm saying what I'm trying to say. But anyway... I'll get better with that. Just be patient with me. So you, they see you as walking away from the connection and you're disconnected. You're disconnected, okay? So let's move on over. And take a look at how you see the person that you're dealing with. Now we have the Three of Pentacles, and it's paired with the Page of Swords. Now the Three of Pentacles is a very positive card in, in the tarot, uh, especially with work and career, because the Pentacles stands for money, finance. But it's an overall good card in the tarot, overall. It means that you're doing well, things are going well. This Three of Pentacles, it tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. And they also notice the quality of what you do, even if you do not get paid for it. This Three tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right track. Although there's probably room for improvement, you do not need to scrap something and start again. You will not need to do that with this Three of Pentacles. So, when it comes to love questions and relationships, and you get the three, uh, it's a good good card for love, particularly if you already know someone that you're interested in. This tells you that they see you in a positive light as someone who has the qualities that they're looking for. Although love has not quite developed yet, 
so there's gonna be, there's gonna be a need for patience if you're unattached Sagittarius if you're single and you get this card in your reading but you're looking for a relationship this card it indicates that you're likely to meet someone through your work or through theirs so you have to keep your eyes open so you're seeing the person that you're dealing with in this connection has this three of pentacles You're seeing them as as they appreciate the effort that you put into the connection and and you see you see them in a positive light. And you also see them as the person who has the qualities that you've that you've been looking for so you see them in a really good light really good light and like i said you appreciate the efforts that they had put into the connection but that's how you see them and being that it's paired with this page of swords uh, the page of swords is about mild conflict you have to know when to push and when to back off because many fights and discussions they're not actually worth having as long as your partner is treating you with respect. So allow your partner to have his or her space. This is going to be crucial for happiness if you're single Aquarius. This with this card, the Page of Swords, make sure you get out there and socialize, mix and mingle because love does not just drop out of the sky by itself. That's what it's that's what this Page of Swords is for you if you if you're single Sagittarius but if you're in a connection there's mild conflict so you're seeing your partner as you're seeing your person as like I said um, in a positive way but with a lot of conflict well some mild conflict maybe not a lot but it's enough that um, uh, it's probably why you're having, that's probably why you're seeing them as what we talked about as probably you see them as walking away from the connection. Uh, there's some mild conflict. So you see them as mild conflict and you also see them in a really positive way. Uh, okay, so Let's move on over and take a look at why it's all happening. Now, we have the Judgment card and the Seven of Cups. Now, the Judgment, it's a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments, which are too hastily made. If you know you're prone to doing such things, this is a clear signal to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. When the judgment card is referring to love and relationships, it can be a make or break period. This is a time to get very, very clear about what you want out of life and out of your relationships. And then take steps to make it come about. If you are seeking love, a new relationship may come about in the near future, but you may need to take steps to make sure that you're not jumping to conclusions positive or negative about your new love and or vice versa keep in mind slow and steady it wins the race so why it's happening why this is all happening because someone in this connection jumps to conclusions probably too much more than they should um, they're um, probably passing judgments judgments that are too hastily made so uh, it's happening because um, someone is not giving enough chances in this connection they're just going straight forward jumping to conclusions that could be you or the person that you're dealing with or it could be both of you but it's it's all happening 
and it's causing a make or break period. Make or break period in this connection with the judgment card. Now because the judgment card is paired with a seven of cups, seven of cups is about evaluating your choice. So um, just to explain the seven of cups, it's about several romantic choices at hand. So someone needs to be clear and specific about what they want in a relationship, evaluate their choices thoughtfully, be honest and as clear as they can be with all the people involved, then move ahead. Beware of falling in love in a rush because that only happens in the beginning of a relationship. No relationship does that rush last forever. Good relationships, good relationships, even soulmate relationships, they'll settle into a less rush-based comfort zone at some point. So it's all happening because this connection is, like I said, there's a lot of jumping to conclusions, so it's on a make or break period. And um, someone in this connection could have more than one choice or too many choices at hand, too many options. Uh, so it's causing some disorganization. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. And um, so someone needs to evaluate their choices, you know. Yeah, because uh, three is a crowd. We all know that. Or does someone have four or five or six? Who knows? But that's why it's all happening. Make or break. Someone needs to evaluate their choices because they got too many. And someone's also jumping to conclusions and just um, making hastily decisions. So that's what we have for, for, for the first half of February. Um, just keep in mind, it's only for two weeks. I didn't really like this reading. It wasn't that bright for February, but... Keep in mind, like I said, it's only for two weeks. I'm sure the energy will change as it normally does. So don't take this as a death sentence, please. So Sagittarius, I hope you enjoy the reading. Overall, you know, like I said, it's not a death sentence. It's just a reading. Hopefully it does not resonate with you because I don't like endings. I don't like people walking away either. Okay, so I'm going to try to put a link below of the extended of this reading. I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Okay, so that link will be in the description box below. If I don't get a chance to do that, you can always um, get a personal reading. So I thank you so very much for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my when I know when I um, post my next reading. I am hoping that you're enjoying 2020, and I hope that you have a great day and a wonderful February. Thank you so much for watching. For watching. For watching. For watching. For watching. For watching.